All right. Um, what we're trying to get here is music added. Oh, yeah. Hopefully that is going to be heard. And if it isn't, I'm going to be really sad. But let's talk about how to add music to our animation and how to put it in and how to make it look so that you're not like some some uh, non-professional here. So one, we've been adjusting our sound levels by clicking on the sound, going to audio, and adjusting it if it's too loud or too quiet. Um, second, uh, we want to add music to our credits. So we're going to add music into our credits. And one of the ways to do that is uh, right here on the side. You have media that you import, so you could bring your own song in. Uh, if you've written some music, this is a great place to make your own music video. Or music and sound effects. There are lots of free music that you're allowed to use in your project. It has to say free on it. If it has a star like this, that means that it can only be used if you have a paid account. So we're going to look for, I'm just going to play, I like this right here. So I want music to start right when my credits start. So I'm going to put the cursor right before my credits. And then I'm going to click the um, add to timeline. Okay, now, while this is being added, you might get a buffering symbol. It might buffer for a while because this is a large file. And if you look, look how long I'm zoomed out. You should zoom out too. I want you to zoom out and see how much. Okay, my animation is only about maybe total of 10 seconds with my credits. I do not want three minutes of music. So one way to take care of this is to grab the end and just drag it all the way back so that it's there. And let's just go back here. Now I'm going to zoom back in a little bit. Zoom, 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 zoom. Also control plus, control plus and control minus will also do the same thing. Okay, now the music is so much louder than everything else, than my sounds, that I'm going to turn it, I'm going to just go and I'm going to adjust the volume down just a little bit. Okay, so let's just try that again. Now it's going to buffer sometimes because it's adjusting. There we go. Now, I like that. Okay, now it's a very abrupt ending. I don't like the abrupt ending. I'm going to drag it out just a little bit past the end. And then I'm going to click on this song. And I'm going to click on audio. Actually, no, I'm going to click on fade. And this is where you can fade the song in and fade it out. I like to do a longer fade out at the end. I'm going to give it two seconds. Fade in, I'm going to do for about one second here. And I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have the music start just a little before the end of the thing. I'm going to zoom in, control plus, plus, plus. I'm going to drag this track so it's just a little overlapped with the end of the action there. And let's just hear this now. See how the music sort of faded in? Well, now listen to it. It's going to fade out at the end. Now, I like a longer fade out, and there's other ways to do this, but that's the basics of getting some, some music using ClipChamp's free music option. Search for a song you like. Remember, if it has a star, you cannot use it. You won't be able to export it unless you upgrade and pay, and that's what that little star is for. I mean, if you use this a lot and you like it, I'm not a paid in Dorsey, but I, I would buy it. I use uh, some other more high-end editing programs, a program called Final Cut Express. A lot of people use Adobe Premiere, but this is such a great way to learn how to edit, and you can actually do so much with it. I'm so impressed with ClipChamp. Um, so there you go. There's how you're going to add music. Good luck, and I can't wait to hear your awesome projects.